Dear learners, welcome to my channel, Educare Horizon. In this video, we are going to discuss final accounts, problems and solutions of salt trader concerns. Problem number one. From the following trial balance of Mr. Samir, prepare the trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 1984 and balance sheet as on that date after taking into consideration the adjustments given below. Trial balance for the year ended 31st March 1984. Particulars debit credit capital rupees 50,000 drawings rupees 7,500 purchases rupees 72,100 sales rupees 95,300 Returns debit 1300, credit rupees 2700, sundry debtors rupees 18,500, sundry creditors rupees 35,750, stock as on 1st April 1983 19,800, bad debts. Rupees 3000. Bills receivable and payable. Rupees 12,000. And rupees 23,000. Cash in hand. Rupees 300. Office expenses. Rupees 6,210. Sales van. Rupees 15,000. Sales van expenses. Rupees 1400. Discount Rupees 2910. Rent and taxes Rupees 10700. Telephone charges Rupees 10050. Postage Rupees 950. Furniture Rupees 5000. Printing and stationery. Rupees 2750. Commission Rupees 8400. Carriage in words Rupees 3200. Salaries and wages Rupees 11500. Adjustments First item Closing stock was valued at Rupees 61700. Depreciate Furniture at 10 percentage and sales van 20 percentage. Outstanding rent amount to rupees 900. Make provision for doubtful debts at the rate of 5 percentage and further bad debts amounted to rupees 200. So, this is the question. So, we are required to prepare trading and profit loss account and balance sheet. So let us discuss. So this is the trial balance. So we'll discuss one by one. So in which statement it will come. For example, capital. Capital is credit balance. It's a liability. So it will be showing on the liability side of the balance sheet. Rupees 50,000. Drawings. Drawings. Debit balance rupees 7,500. Whenever drawings occurs, that result in the reduction of capital. So that is why drawings will be showing on the liability side of the balance sheet by way of deduction from capital. Purchases. See, debit side of the 
trading account, sales, credit balance. That means it is an income. It's a direct income. So that is why sales will be showing on the credit side of the trading account. Returns, debit balance 1,300 and credit balance 2,700. Returns debit means sales returns or return inward. Sales return or return inward that will be showing on the credit side of the trading account deducted from sales. Then credit balance returns rupees 2700. This is purchase return or return outward. So purchase return, credit balance rupees 2700, that will, that will be showing on the debit side of the trading account by way of deduction from purchases. Sundry debtors, it's an asset. So it will be showing on the debit, uh, it will be showing on the asset side of the balance sheet. Sundry creditors, credit balance, it's a liability. So sundry creditors will be showing on the liability side of the balance sheet. Stock as on 1st April 1983. So this is the operating balance, operating stock. Opening stock will be showing on the debit side of the trading account. Bad debts. It is a loss. Bad debts will be showing on the debit side of the P and L account. Then bills receivable. Debit balance is bills receivable. Bills receivable rupees 12,000. It is an asset. The asset side of the balance sheet. Bills payable. Credit balance. Rupees 23,000. Liability. Liability side of the balance sheet. Then cash in hand. It is an asset. So debit balance, then assets, asset side of the balance sheet. Office expense. It's an expense, indirect expense. So office expense will be showing on the debit side of the profit and loss account. Sales van. Sales van is an asset. Asset side of the balance sheet. Sales van expense. It is an expense, indirect expense. Debit side of the PL account. Discount the credit. Discount the credit balance rupees 2,910. Discount the credit means discount received. It is an income. So it will be showing on the credit side of the profit loss account. Rent and taxes rupees 10,700. It is an expense. Debit side of the PL account. Telephone charges. It is an office expense, debit side of the PL account. Postage, it's an office expense, debit side of the PL account. Furniture, it's an asset, then asset side of the balance sheet. Printing and stationery, it's an expense, debit side of the PL account. Commission, debit balance, commission debit balance means commission paid. It is an expense, debit side of the PL account. Carriage inward. Carriage inward also called as carriage on purchases. Debit side of the trading account. Carriage inward will be showing on the debit side of the trading account. Then salaries and wages. See, salaries and wages and salaries normally we used to record on the debit side of the PL account. See, this is salaries plus wages. But the figures are not uh, see, separable. So that is why, see, which is the prefix? Suppose it is salary is the prefix. So we used to show the debit side of the PL account. In case it is wages and salaries, suppose wage is the prefix. Prefix. So in that case, wages normally used to show the debit side of the trading account. So suppose it is wages and salaries, it will be showing on the debit side of the trading account. In this problem, the salaries and wages, so debit side of the PL account. Then adjustments, closing stock. See, always remember adjustments having two fold effect. It will record on two sides of, or two treatments will be there. One treatment will be income statement and another impact will be on balance sheet. For example, closing stock will be 61,700. Closing stock, it is an asset. The asset side of the balance sheet. 
and closing stock will be showing on the credit side of the trading account the next one is depreciation on furniture 10% and sales van 20% depreciation will it is an expense it will be showing on the debit side of the profit and loss account the second effect whenever depreciation arises that result in the reduction of the value of asset so that is why the value of depreciation it will be showing on the asset side of the balance sheet by way of deduction from the respective assets outstanding rent that means outstanding expenses so outstanding expense is a liability it will be showing on the liability side of the balance sheet then another second impact is that see outstanding rent will be added along with the rent in the debit side of the trading account the last item provision for bad and doubtful debts 5% and further bad debts amount to rupees 200 so further bad debts that will be showing on the debit side of the pnl account and further bad debt that will be showing on the asset side of the balance sheet by way of deduction from sundry debtors and provision for doubtful debt also the same treatment for further bad debt provision for doubtful debt will be showing on the debit side of the pnl account and that provision for doubtful debt it will be deducted from sundry debtors on the asset side of the balance sheet but always remember here see in order to calculate provision for doubtful debt the first step sundry debtors less further bad debt see after deducting further bad debt from sundry debtors upon that figure we are required to create 5 percentage provision so let us see how to solve what will be the solution so this is the solution for the first problem we can see trading account the title will be trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 1984 to opening stock 19800 to purchases inner column 72100 less returns see 2700 then outer column after deducting this figure balance figure so you can see 69400 and another direct expense carriage on carriage inward or carriage on purchases rupees 3200 then credit side inner column 95300 less returns returns 1300 then outer column rupees 94000 then next one closing stock credit side closing stock 61700 see after recording this uh, trading account uh, particulars the next step uh, please uh, balance it so please check which side is more see 94000 plus 61700 155700 see here debit side 19800 plus 69400 plus 3200 see debit side is less than credit side or we can say credit side is more than debit side so that is why it is a credit balance so that balance figure will be treated as profit gross profit so balance figure is 63300 so this is the gross profit you can see gross profit carried down 63300 the next statement is profit and loss account continuation of trading account so profit and loss account we used to start with the continuation of trading account so we will start with broad see gross profit should be the the difference or we can say the balance figure will be brought down to the pnl account so this is a credit balance because gross profit so it will be brought down on the credit side by gross profit brought down 63300 then we are required to record various office administration and selling expenses with adjustments you can see office expenses 60 6210 two bad debts 3000 inner column some adjustments are there add further bad debt rupees 200 add provision for doubtful debt 915 so outer column 4115 to sales and expenses 
to rent and taxes, 10,700. Add outstanding rent. There is an adjustment. Outstanding rent will be added along with rent. So out of all of 11,600. To telephone charges, 10,050. To postage, rupees 950. To printing and stationery, rupees 2,750. Commission, rupees 8,400. To salaries and wages, 11,500. To depreciation, so depreciation, two machines are depreciated. So to depreciation, two items are there in the inner column. Sales van, rupees 300. And furniture, rupees 500. So outer column, 3,500. Then credit side by discount received, 2,910. See, after recording all these uh, debit, uh, debit uh, particulars and credit particulars, the next step, you are required to balance it. See, here we can say, you can see that the credit side is more than debit side. Credit side is 66,210. See, there will be a shortage of 5,735. So credit side is more than debit side. So we can say this is a profit because profit will be always credit balance. So you can see net profit, you can see here, net profit transferred to balance sheet, rupees 5,735. So, See, total debit side also 66,210. See, this net profit will be carried forward to balance sheet and it will be added along with the capital. So, with this, trading and profit and loss account is over. The next one, we have to prepare balance sheet. So, balance sheet as on 31st March 1984. Liability side, liabilities amount, assets amount. So, liability side, first item, Capital, 50,000 inner column. Add, sorry, less drawings, 7,500. So 42,500. Add net profit, 5,735. Then outer column, capital, 48,235. The sundry creditors, 35,750. Bills payable, rupees 23,000. Outstanding rent, rupees 900. So these are the various liabilities. Then asset side, first of all, fixed assets, sales van, rupees 15,000, less depreciation, 3,000, outer column, rupees 12,000, furniture, rupees 5,000, less depreciation, 500, outer column, 4,500, sundry debtors, there will be adjustment, inner column, 18,500, less further bad debt, rupees 200, then 18,300. Again, there will be one adjustment, less provision for not full debt, 915, outer column, 17,385. Then next item, bills receivable, rupees 12,000. Then cash in hand, rupees 300. Closing stock, rupees 61,700. Then please add liability side and asset side. So, it must tally or it should be total. Suppose uh, here you can see liability is total 1,7885. The asset side also the same figure, the corresponding figure of 1,7885. So this is the way in which we can prepare the final accounts, trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. Then we will discuss the second problem in final account, problem number two. The following balances are drawn from the books of Mrs. Aravind Mills as on 31st December 1997. Trial balance for the year ended 31st December 1997. Land, rupees 1 lakh. Buildings, rupees 2 lakhs. Sales, rupees 3 lakhs. Purchases, rupees 1 lakh 75,000. Sales returns, Rupees 10,000. Purchase returns rupees 5,000. Stock, opening stock, rupees 25,000. Debtors rupees 40,000. Bank overdraft rupees 1,500. Cash in hand rupees 5,000. Sundry credit chairs 43,700. Salaries rupees 20,000. Wages rupees 12,000. Goodwill rupees 14,000. General expenses rupees 5,000. Selling expenses rupees 12,000. Bad debts 
rupees 1000 insurance rupees 1200 capital rupees 2 lakhs 81000 then adjustments first adjustment closing stock is rupees 30000 provided depreciation at the rate of 10 percentage on buildings right of further bad debt rupees 1000 salary is yet to be paid rupees 3000 insurance prepaid rupees 300 you are required to prepare trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet of Mrs. Arvind Mills. So this is a question. So let us discuss how to treat and each, how to treat each and every item. First item you can see in, in, in trial balance land land debit balance. It is an asset. So asset side of the balance sheet, buildings, rupees 2 lakhs, assets, asset side of the balance sheet, sales, it's an income, credit side of the trading account, purchases, it's an expense, debit side of the trading account, sales return, sales return will be deducted from sales on the credit side of the trading account, purchases returns, purchase returns will be deducted from purchases on the debit side of the trading account. Stock as on 1st January 1997, opening balance. So it will be showing on the debit side of the trading account. Sundry debtors, it's an asset, asset side of the balance sheet. Bank overdraft, it's a liability. See, the balance overdrawn from the commercial bank, it is a liability. So that will be showing on the liability side of the balance sheet. Cash in hand, it's an asset, asset side of the balance sheet. Creditors, it's a liability. So owing to outsiders, it's a liability, liability side of the balance sheet. Salaries, it's an expense, debit side of the P and L account. The next one, wages, it's a direct expense, debit side of the trading account. The next item, goodwill, it's an asset, asset side of the balance sheet. General expenses, it's expense, debit office expense, debit side of the P and L account, selling expense. Debit side of the PL account, bad debts, debit side of the PL account, insurance, it is an expense, debit side of the PL account, capital, it's a liability, liability side of the balance sheet. Then we will discuss what are the adjustments. First adjustment, please remember, see, adjustments are having twofold effect. We are required to treat twice. See, first item is closing stock. Closing stock, first treatment, it is an asset, then asset side of the balance sheet. The second effect is that it will be showing on the credit side of the trading account. The next item provide depreciation at the rate of 10% on buildings. So depreciation is an expense. So that is why it will be showing on the debit side of the PL account. The second effect is that so whenever depreciation arises, that result in the reduction of fixed assets. So depreciation will be showing on the asset side of the balance sheet by of deduction from building. The next item right of further bad debts 1000 so it is a loss so it will be showing on the debit side of the p and account the second effect is that see further bad debts will be deducted from certain debtors then salary is yet to be paid salary is yet to be paid means not yet paid so it is outstanding so outstanding salaries will be showing on the debit side of the uh, p and l account by way of addition to salaries the second effect is that salary is yet to be paid means it's a liability. So liability side of the balance sheet. Insurance prepaid. Insurance is an expense. Prepaid means expense is already paid but not incurred. That means paid in advance. So whatever amount paid in advance, we can say prepaid, that will be deducted from insurance on the debit side of the PL account. Prepaid insurance is an asset. Then it will be showing on the asset side of the balance sheet. So these are the various adjustments. Then we will see how to prepare the uh, trading account and PL account. You can see here trading and total loss account for the year ended, 31st December 1997. Particulars amount, particulars amount, debit side and credit side. To opening stock, rupees 25,000. To purchases in your column, more like 75,000. Less returns, 5,000. So out of column, more like 70,000. Two wages, 12,000. See, these are the direct expenses. Then credit side, inner column, by sales, 3 lakhs. By, sorry, less sales returns, 10,000. So outer column, net sales, 
two lakhs ninety thousand. Closing stock thirty thousand. See here, credit side is more than debit side, so we can say it is a profit. So gross profit. This is a gross profit. Gross profit represents gross gross profit will be one lakh thirteen thousand. That will be showing on the debit side for balancing. So two gross profit carried down one lakh thirteen thousand. The next uh, continuation of the trading account is broker loss account. Here we are required to record all the indirect administrative selling and distribution and some financing and depreciation expenses. See, we used to start with uh, continuation of this trading account. We used to start with uh, operating balance of uh, uh, see P and L account. That becomes a closing balance of the balance figure of trading account. The balance figure of trading account. By gross profit brought down one lakh thirteen thousand. Then here we are required to record various office selling and distribution expenses to salaries. Inner column twenty thousand less. Sorry, add outstanding rupees three thousand. So twenty three thousand out of column to general expenses rupees five thousand. To selling expenses will be twelve thousand. To bad debts, sir, there are certain adjustments. To bad debts, one thousand. Add further bad debt, one thousand. So out of column, two thousand. To insurance, adjustment is there. In our column, one thousand two hundred. Less prepaid, prepaid insurance, three hundred. Out of column, nine hundred. Depreciation on building, will be twenty thousand. See, there is no other items to be recorded in P and L account. Then we have to balance this P and L account. The credit side is more than debit side, so there will be a credit balance. That means profit, net to net profit, transfer to balance sheet, rupees forty thousand one hundred. So this forty thousand one hundred we are required to carry it forward to balance sheet, and we are required to add along with the C capital. So net profit amounting to rupees forty thousand one hundred. This is the balance figure of C P and L account. The continuation of See this uh, final accounts. We can say balance sheet. After trading and PL account, we are required to prepare balance sheet. Balance sheet as on 31st December 1997. So you can see here liabilities amount, assets amount. So liability side, capital rupees two lakh eighty one thousand. Add net profit forty thousand one hundred. Outer column three lakhs thirty one thousand one hundred. Bank overdraft one thousand five hundred. Salary creditors. Forty-three thousand seven hundred salaries outstanding rupees three thousand. That's all the liability side. The next one goodwill. So the asset side, asset side the first item goodwill rupees fourteen thousand land rupees one lakh. The next item that is building. Building there is depreciation adjustment. So we have to record in the column buildings rupees two lakhs less depreciation twenty thousand outer column one lakh eighty thousand. Sundry debt is forty thousand less. Further bad debt one thousand. So so outer column forty nine thousand. Cash in hand rupees five thousand. Closing stock rupees thirty thousand. And prepaid insurance or insurance prepaid rupees three hundred. Then after recording the asset side assets also. The next step we are required to total the liability side and asset side. So it must tally. It must uh, be equal. Liability side. Three lakh seventy nine thousand three hundred, and see uh, assets also corresponding assets side also three lakh seventy nine thousand three hundred. So that means this problem is okay. So the because the balance sheet is tally, that's all. Thank you for watching my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe our channel. Please click the bell icon near to the subscribe button. you will get notification when we upload new videos thank you